Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the second video on uh, molecular uh, docking. Uh, it is the welcome to the 35th series of principles of uh, drug discovery. In this video, we are going to cover the uh, remaining part of molecular docking. We are going to see about uh, de novo drug design and docking based screening. So, first we will see what is uh, de novo drug design. De novo drug design is a computational approach used in drug discovery and development of. Uh, uh, molecules are design new molecules from scratch without relying on the existing chemical structures as starting points. This method involves the use of various uh, computational uh, techniques such as molecular modeling, virtual screening and molecular dynamic simulations to create novel compounds that are predicted to have desired properties for therapeutic use. So it, it is of four types. One is structure-based de novo drug design, ligand-based de novo drug design, atom-based de novo drug design, and fragment-based de novo drug design. In structure-based de novo drug design, the receptor 3D structure is known and it leads to generation of interaction sites for the ligand. In ligand-based drug design, the receptor 3D structure is unknown. Uh, the generation of pseudo receptor of uh, direct similarity is done in case of ligand based de novo drug design. In atom based uh, de novo drug design, a seed atom is required, high number of uh, generated structures with questionable chemical accessibility. Fragment based drug design, de novo drug design, a seed fragment is required, lower number of uh, generated uh, structures with good chemical uh, success, uh, successibility is possible in this uh, case. Let us see the principles of uh, de novo drug design. Assembling possible uh, compounds and evaluating their uh, quality. Searching the sample space for novel structures with uh, drug-like properties. Then build a model of uh, binding site uh, protein structure. So let us assume this is the protein structure. You build a model of the binding site. You understand the binding spot. Then you create a uh, ligand for this. So construct a molecule such that it fits into this model. So this is the basic concept of de novo drug design. The types of de novo drug design we already have seen. First we will discuss about a structure based de novo drug design. It is also called a receptor based uh, uh, a drug design. So it is uh, based on the receptor. Since the molecular shape, physical and chemical properties of the active site are important for tight and uh, specific binding of the ligand the active site is analyzed to determine the shape constraints and non-covalent interactions for a ligand the receptor ligand non-covalent interactions uh, such as uh, hydrogen bonds electrostatic and hydrophobic interactions are used to generate the interaction sites for a ligand so in case of a ligand based de novo drug design uh, when the three dimensional structure of the biological target is absent, uh, the, we should know the active binders uh, that offer alternative strategy for de novo drug design. Active binders uh, could be identified through structure activity relationship studies or uh, could be identified from the databases such as Kemble. Uh, this method is often employed to design novel candidate structures for biological targets for which obtaining a crystal structure is a challenging task from one or more of the active binders a ligand pharmacophore model is established and used to design novel structures the next is uh, uh, sampling methods uh, in uh, de novo drug design one is uh, atom based initial atom is uh, randomly placed in the active site and used as a seed to construct the rest of the molecule in every stage variety of atoms and hybridization states of uh, each atom are explored as a result, the chemical space covered by this method is vast and the generated structures need to be narrowed down. This method has the advantage of higher exploration of chemical space and thus a greater number of number and variety of structures are generated. However, high number of generated structures make it difficult to identify suitable uh, uh, compounds for synthesis and experimental testing. The next is fragment based uh, de novo drug design. Fragment based sampling method is preferred in de novo drug design because the structures are generated as fragment assemblies, uh, which narrows the chemical space, uh, maintains a good diversity, and generates candidate compounds with drug likeness properties. 
This method requires uh, a database that uh, contains fragments and linkers which are obtained either virtually or experimentally. A fragment is docked in the active site and utilized as a seed to build the rest of the molecule. So the concepts used uh, for fragment based uh, drug design are atom based. It includes two things. One is uh, growing and linking. So uh, you should first identify the docking scaffolds then add the substituents and that is the functional groups like OH or um, COOH or, or C, uh, the, the, like ether group whatever you want to include that you include that is uh, do the substitution then you find the best confirmation then you minimize uh, the energy and identify the score for this so um, so this is growing so the protein has to be taken uh, it has to be aligned with the different fragments and uh, you have to build a model and then you have to link this and this type of uh, design is called a de novo drug design procedure for molecular docking protein structure preparation is the first step obtain the 3d structure of the protein from the protein data bank entry or predict the structure using homology modeling if an experimental structure is not available, you may go for threading or ab initio methods also if needed. Already protein modeling is uh, separate video is available. Kindly go through it in the playlist. Clean the protein structure by removing uh, the water molecules, cofactors and uh, other non-protein entities. Check for the missing atoms or residues and fill the gaps using structure prediction tools if necessary. Next is protein energy minimization. Use uh, the molecular mechanics uh, fields such as amber, charm or OPLS to optimize the protein structures, geometry and steric clashes. Perform energy minimization to relax the protein structure and alleviate unfavorable interactions. This can be done using molecular dynamic simulations or energy minimization algorithms. Then adding hydrogens and adding assigning charges. Adding uh, the hydrogen charges to the protein structure at appropriate positions on the pH of the simulation. Assign partial charges to the protein atoms by using force field parameters. The next is ligand preparation. Obtain or design the ligand of interest in a 3D molecular format such as a structure data format, MOL2 or PDB um, formats. Clean the ligand structure by removing unwanted fragments, counter ions and solvent molecules. Assign charges and add hydrogen atoms to the ligand. Then grid generation. Create a 3D grid around the protein's active site where the ligand is expected to bind. The grid defines the search space for the ligand during docking simulations. Next is a docking simulation. Use a molecular uh, docking software such as Autodock, Dock, Gold, Glide to perform the docking simulations. Apply appropriate scoring functions to predict the binding affinity of the ligand receptor complex. Generate uh, multiple docking poses to explore the conformational space of the ligand within the active site. Then analysis and visualization. Analyze the docking results to identify the most favorable binding poses and their associated scores. Visualize the protein ligand interactions and hydrogen bonding patterns using molecular visualization tools such as BioVia Discovery Studio, Molygro or uh, Schrodinger Mastro is a free for uh, a visualization. <laughs> so let us see uh, an outline. Since I am familiar with Autodoc, I am showing it. All the other programs could be utilized to understand the basics. So the interface appears like this. So you will have uh, a file. Then you will have uh, the edit option. There will be an option for loading the molecule, and there will be an option for uh, ligand also. Let us see this. So first you have to read the molecule that is the protein molecule. First step is this. So it uh, understands the uh, map or the geometry which you uh, give as an input the PDB file. It reads and understands and creates a structure for the protein in the interface in the virtual space. Then you can add uh, delete water here you can see you can delete water you can add charges you can add hydrogens polar hydrogens merge the non-polar hydrogens like that many steps you can 
do in this uh, tab then ligand preparation so there is a separate option for uh, ligand where you can give the input of the ligand and you can uh, generate uh, the torsion uh, uh, you can add the charges you can add the torsions and, and then you can create a output file so you can create a output file usually the output uh, file will be for protein as well as uh, for ligand it will be as uh, pdb qt file for protein as well as the ligand then generation of grid box so here you can see there is a tab called grid so where you can load the macro molecule ligand and you can create a grid box you can create a grid file so when you create a grid file the xyz so you understand this is the total protein the ligand will not be docked in all the things then uh, the if the space is uh, defined that is called a grid box if it is not defined it is called blind docking sometimes if you don't know the active site then you can do blind docking then you can fix the uh, you can adjust the x y z with the with the like it is like a wheel you can adjust this usually the preferable in autodoc is 60 60 60 space then running auto grid and autodoc so you can uh, do the fix the docking protocol you can run the autodoc such that uh, it, the ligand is uh, flexed in between the proteins active space and then you can see the docking poses and docking score so it will appear like this i have given a example it is a random example so you can see the uh, affinity for this uh, ligand uh, root mean square uh, deviation and you can see the docking scores then analyzing the docking results I, in this case i have used uh, the discovery studio so it is uh, 3d uh, how the ligand interacts with the protein at its active site it's a 3d view and 2d view appears like this <laughs> what are all the bonds which are formed like van der waals like alkyl groups or hydrogen conventional hydrogen bonds you can analyze in this so what is docking based screening docking based screening is a computational method that is used to identify potential drug candidates in this type of screening a large number of small molecules are docked to a target protein and the binding affinities of small molecules are predicted using a docking simulation the most promising candidates are then selected for further study and testing docking based screening is a valuable tool for drug discovery because it allows researchers to quickly and efficiently screen large number of small molecules for their potential as drugs this can save time and resources in the drug discovery process and it can help to identify promising candidates that may not have been identified using other methods docking based screening is often used in combination with other screening methods such as in vitro or in vivo testing to provide a more comprehensive picture of the small molecules uh, potential as a drug so uh, let us see virtual screening with a diagram so here uh, you can take the ligand libraries from uh, kembel uh, drug bank zinc database or pubchem you can you can take the uh, uh, small molecules so you can create a ligand based uh, pharmacophore model screening then uh, if you have the structure of the protein you can create a structure based pharmacophore uh, uh, screening then you can do the docking simulations you may use uh, admit filters using uh, pkcsm or swiss uh, ADME or uh, admit uh, lab like that which uh, already we have discussed these things in the previous videos also it's a combination of this and you can identify the hit molecules which you can take for in vitro or in vivo studies so put together this is called virtual screening you use a virtual space to understand the binding between the ligand and the protein for a larger database is called virtual screening so it's a very short information of uh, the molecular modeling uh, molecular docking de novo drug design and docking based screening and virtual screening i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button 
go through all the series of videos which is available in the playlist of pharma topics principles of uh, drug discovery and score well in your exams thank you